field is green, our thumbs are up, drivers behind the line. Finals match one in three, two, one, power up! And our six best robots here today are on the field, off to a rip-roaring start. 1529 placing a cube on this blue switch as, as well as 868. Red Alliance also has two cubes on their switch. Unfortunately, Wildbot's auto scale did not work, but they have plenty of time for makeup for those potentially missed points. Pike Robo Devils is quickly lining up, and it looks like they're going to be the first ones to place a cube on the scale for the Red Alliance. Putting a cube on the scale is Pike Robo Devils. We have over a minute and a half left in this match. Plenty of time, but not a lot of cubes on the scale. However, two robots are trying to amend that. 868 Tech Hounds dropped their cubes, but 4096 Control Z are quick to take advantage of their mistake and place another cube on the scale for the Red Alliance. 4265 dropped another cube. 868 is trying to make it up, and they did, but Control Z is already back with another cube, unfortunately dropping it again. Looks like over on the blue side of the field, there is also some pretty heavy action. 1792 playing some offense up against the Blue Alliance's switch, while Cyber Cards are working diligently to fill, to fill up their vault so they can play some power ups. We also have Team 1018 working on the exchange a little bit and also trying to help out their partners with the scale. Right now, Red has control of the scale, their switch, and also thanks to Roundtable Robotics, they're attempting to gain control of their opponent's switch as well. Pike Robo Devils, not a captain to slough off on the competition. They are trying and successful in placing cube on, after cube on the scale. That sound signals that it is now time for end game. 4265 ringing in the end game with another cube on the scale for blue, but Red Alliance has too much of advantage and on the scale. However, blue is not to be out, outdone. 4265 is gonna attempt a climb. They haven't yet managed to do that at this competition, but it looks like they've got it for the Blue Alliance. 1792 is also attempting a climb. Unfortunately, they were not able to do so in the time allotted, but this could still be a pretty high scoring match for these alliances. And we have a result for final match number one. It is the Red Alliance putting up a score of 326 to 258. Our number four alliance is coming into our next final match at an advantage.